A bladder infection, most often caused by a bacterial infection, can weaken the immune system, which can then affect the kidneys. Dr. Brian Stone, a nephrologist at Desert Regional Medical Center, discusses how various infections can cause serious infections in your kidneys. Urinary infections, as well as any infection anywhere, is, is bad. And one way to think about it is that in each place in our body, we have an ecosystem, right? So in the gut, there's bacteria that are supposed to be there. On the skin, there's bacteria that are supposed to be there. And when they're in good balance, we don't have a problem. When they get out of balance, that's when we call it infection. And out of balance means that it becomes invasive. There's inflammation, there's breakdown of the tissue, and that's what happens in the urinary system. The, the urine system is unusual because it happens to be near the gut. And so the good bacteria that are in the gut that are supposed to be there can make their way over into the urinary system. They don't belong there. So once they go in, that disturbs the whole system. And they could travel at different levels up into the system. So what we call a simple urinary tract infection, uh, we call it cystitis, acute simple cystitis, means that those gut bacteria came over, went up into the tract, and ended up in the bladder. That's the simplest form. And most people feel a little bit of discomfort, not usually the big sim symptoms of back pain and, and high fevers, but just some discomfort, some pain when they urinate. And that's just your simple cystitis, very easy to treat. In fact, some of them probably go away by themselves because the body understands that this isn't supposed to happen and there's a natural defense system. As that goes further up the system, it becomes more of a problem. The bladder is the bottom and it could travel up what we call the ureters, which are the, the connections between the bladder and the kidneys themselves. And once it's able to do that, it gets into the kidneys. And the problem with getting infection in the kidneys is it's very difficult to get antibiotics to some parts of the kidney. This becomes a more dangerous situation and often we go to intravenous antibiotics and maybe even in a hospital situation. Dr. Stone reveals how urinary infections can be prevented. You can prevent bladder infections. We use this word hygiene, which means you have to keep certain areas very clean. And that's very important, especially in women. Now, women are more susceptible to getting these cystitis or simple infections because the tract that goes from the skin up into the bladder is very, very short in women. In men, it tends to be longer for obvious reasons. And so men have a little more protection. And so for women, they have to keep that area very clean. And the vaginal area as well tends to develop bacterial growth and that can seed bacteria into the urinary system as well. So for women, it's a more common thing to have this and they're treated much more often than men are. In fact, if men get a urine infection, we're supposed to start thinking about whether their system is normal, whether the prostate is held on to an old infection or whether there's some kind of blockage like a stone or a large prostate involved uh, blocking urinary flow.